I made a quick comment in one of the videos, I can't remember which one, a couple videos back, and I said, hey, I did this, this uh, muffler mod on my, on my 290 Farm Boss. And so this is the 290 right here, and, and it's a real simple process. I mean, you can see it right here. So I just, just for fun, I pulled this part. And I also wanted to check the spark arrestor too. It's good to take these off periodically. But <clears throat> this goes on here. I'll just, I'll assemble it real quick. But basically what you do is you pull your muffler off, unbolt it, really simple, three bolts, very easy to do on this. And what I did is, I think, I can't remember exactly where it was, but I think it only had one little tiny, you know, maybe half inch slot or maybe even smaller. And so I drilled a couple of holes in here. What are those? I don't know. Eighth inch. They're not quite quarter inch. One there. And then I, dr and then I drill, 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 and then I dremeled this out. Really pretty simple. Um, but you know, a lot of people open it up even more. I, you know, I didn't want to, but the main thing you got to be careful of it, just, you know, have fun with it once your warranty's up. But the main thing you've got to be careful of is don't, don't go outside of your spark arrestor screen right here. That's not good. You, you need that, um, to, you know, to catch any, any sparks. Really simple. Oh, the other thing you have to do. <clears throat> so if you're going to open that up, if you're going to open those up, uh, this is going to be your next restriction. And that's the little cover plate that goes over your spark arrestor. And so on mine, what I did was I took a Dremel and I just opened that up a little bit more. I could open that up probably an, a little bit more, but I'm happy and it's tuned and it's run, running really good and I didn't, didn't want to overdo it. But you, you can open that up quite a bit more and then it'll let even more air out of there. So, you know, you can open this all you want, but if you don't, um, if you don't take and dremel that piece, get that in frame, if you don't take and dremel that piece out, it's not gonna do you any good. It's gonna be a, still a restriction. So that's the mod. Um, and then there's some other modifications you gotta do to the uh, carburetor, but um, it's pretty straightforward. So all you do is just literally, now that you've inspected your, your spark arrestor, your spark arrestor, then you just basically put the thing back together. I think all you literally all you do is you go like this. You pull these out. This is where your adjustment screws. I'm not going to take it all the way out. But in there, when you first get the saw, they have these plastic caps in there. And you want to pull those off or cut the tabs off or just take them off temporarily if you want to still use them. I think I just cut the tabs off of mine. But what they allow you to do is they only <clears throat> they only want you to be able to adjust the saw so much okay and so i think i just cut the i think i just cut mine off of there because i think they're still in there they have to be and i think i just cut the little tab the little plastic tabs off of them that, that restrict the movement the other thing i've heard of people doing is pulling them off making the, the adjustment and then putting them back on and then they're they're where they want to be but you can buy these i think i think the dealer if if, if a dealer ever works on your saw they're just going to go ahead and put new ones back in there because they kind of prevent you from like really messing it up but you just got to be kind of careful with it and like I said I mean if you're going to do the muffler mod it's going to be using much more fuel and so you have to do that I found that this thing was running when I first got it it was running way too lean and it was actually running really bad I didn't like the saw I think I mentioned that before I did not like the saw because it just kept dying and it would run really good really good and then it would just starve for fuel and then and then you just had to keep I don't, it just never really ran right. And it was well broke in. I mean, I had plenty of hours on it, but it just was not running right. And so, <clears throat> so after I did that mod, the muffler mod, and then took those off to open up the carburetor, it's a new saw. I mean, it literally runs good. And I do need to run an ARP attack on it to make sure I'm not over speeding it, but they're known to, I mean, it, I think what it is with this one, honestly think that these saws are I honestly think that these saws are pretty darn good. I mean, I know that they have like some non-professional like cylinder or case type deal in here that I think the cylinder, the, the case splits in, in, a, in a way that a non-professional saw, you can take the cylinder head off. But it, that, you know, but still, I think that these are actually like detuned on them, I think just to make it so they don't compete with their pro saws. I could be wrong on that, but it just seems like when you did that mod, it ran... It's not that it ran super high performance; it just ran right, and so um, yeah, I've it's been I've had that done for many many years, and um, it's always run 
excellent. So I would highly recommend it. You know, do it at your own risk. You know, don't tell me if, don't complain to me if you blow it up. But I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I've, I've, it's like kind of what everybody says, even online. Like, oh, if you once you get this saw, do the, do the muffler. I'm going to put that on there just for now. I got to clean that later, but I don't want to get any dirt and stuff in there. But it's highly recommended, and you'll see a lot of people talk about it. They just said, go ahead and do it once your stuff, once your saw is out of warranty, which they don't even make the saw anymore. So there's no reason not to do it, guys. Um, and it's been running really, really good. So, well, I got a lot to do on this thing, and I'm just going to kind of keep keep cleaning. Um, but I just thought I'd share that with you. So if you ever were wondering, I know some people were asking about it. If you're ever wondering how to do that, do it at your own risk. Again, I would recommend getting a tack, a tachometer. I'm going to get one to make sure I'm not overspeeding it. Even though I've probably been overspeeding it for years and it's running better than it has or ever has. So, um, yeah, highly recommended. Turns this thing into a beast. All right, see you guys on the next one.